Hi, hi, John. I'm going to send another video because I just had a thought on uh, p potentially what you might be seeing, but also uh, give you some advice. Now, the pictures that I had, and I'm going to recommend um, what I did is I took your images and I sort of blew them up, like I expanded them, I stretched them out using uh, Adobe Fireworks. Cause it does a fairly good job of inter interpolating the pixels when you go from a smaller to a larger. Because when you go from a small image to a large one, you can't add pixels to to make it. So what happens is they get a little pixelated. That's where it comes from. So taking a smaller image and blowing it up, it's just going to make it look worse. So the best, my advice is this when dealing with a slider, you, you want to have your focal point, the area of the image, about 500 pixels tall. And you see here's a picture of a, a, a woman here. I just want to go back to that one for a second if I can. The face here is in full view, but the overall focal point of the image of the image is about 500 tall, although the picture itself is 1920 pixels wide. And I, I'm, this is a, a new feature I've added since I think you downloaded yours in July. I've updated the Tempest with new picture sizes. Um, I, I'm going a full 1920 by 1080p, but the focal part of the image, the part we want to see, that's in the middle 500 it's very in the very middle of the image and sort of as a to keep it sort of best working best in all resolutions I want to make sure that the part of the image that I want to see would fit into about uh, 1280 by 500 pixels right so although and let me just open up this image and I'll explain in my image editor right um, give me a second here I'm just gonna go in is this the one here no it's uh, where is it this is the picture right here. I'm going to open this up in Adobe Fireworks and size it down so we can see. As you can see here, if I draw a rectangle of 500 pixels tall, let's just go with, there we go, there it is right there. This 500 pixel rectangle is what's going to be seen within the image because the, the actual height of the container is 500 pixels tall. And if you need to, we can make it taller. But before we do that, I just want to explain. Um, the width of the picture is 1920s, and I made them larger than the version you have. I, in the version you have, we had 1024. That's because when I created the template, 1280 was sort of a standard resolution. So 1024 to 1280, that's not much of a stretch. But now we're getting a lot more monitors that are in the uh, 1080p uh, resolution, high res. So it's 1920 by 1080. So that's sort of the, the next uh, update that I've, or the update I've already made. Um, where the image size should be in around 1920 wide, right, for the best option. But the focal point of the image should be in the middle of the picture within about a 500 pixel height. And that way you hit the 500 pixels tall here, but the image doesn't have to stretch in order to fit, right, and then get more pixelated. So that's sort of the one point. Now, I don't know if this, actually, this information actually helps, but the pictures I had that I resized, some of them were fairly, were kind of small, and I, I stretched them out to 1280 so that they would be uh, a little bit bigger, but they're still on larger monitors. They're still going to be more stretching by about, you know, 40% going from 1280 to 1920. Um, so there's still going to be quite a bit more stretching. Actually, that's about 50%. Um, so it's still going to get even more pixelated. So basically what I'm saying is the larger the image you can start with, the better, and that would be if you can get an image of about 1920 pixels wide and we have at least 500 pixels of height to work with then we can make a really good non-pixelated image now that's with the image itself but I also thought about something else because what we have here over top of this really clear image we have lines these lines they're there for a reason what they actually were there for we have lines and dots and we have this thing called an overlay and what it was designed to do is take images of say a thousand and twenty that are a thousand and twenty four and when they're sort of stretched out you're going to see pixelation and what these lines do it sort of blurs that pixelation a little bit uh, to make it not quite as noticeable or to make it look more like an, an effect as opposed to a low quality image but the worse the pixelation, the worse it's going to get. You could try this. Uh, in your full screen slider.htm page here, right? If we just flip it to code view, um, you'll see we have this uh, right here vertical line. See this div container? You can actually just sort of what says vertical line. You can right click on it, do a select tag, and delete. Then there's the dotted light. So basically, anything below top shadow 
this top shadow style here. You just need to right click on whatever's below it, do a select tag and delete it. And here we're going to get rid of the horizontal line and delete it. And those are the graphic coverings that we put over the image with lines or dots or something to sort of break up any pixelation a little bit. But if it's really pixelated, if the image is really pixelated, those might make it even worse. So get rid of them and see if that helps. Other than that, um, bigger, better pictures are going to have a much bigger, better punch. Like I said, if you can get images to me of 1920 by at least 500 high, then we can make a much better, much cleaner uh, image for you.